All right, today we're gonna replace the face bearings of an air unit. This is an air breeze turbine. First, of course, you wanna remove the blades, remove the nose cone, remove the blades. Um, we're gonna take the hub off. Remember that this is a reverse thread, so by actually turning it to the right, you are loosening that bolt. Okay. And we take our Allen key. We're gonna remove the three face bolts. Typically the face should just come off. This is a newer turbine, so there's not gonna be that an issue. If you need to, uh, there is a small lip that you can put a flathead screwdriver against to how to uh, assist the removal of the face. Once we have that off, uh, there's going to be three wires coming off the stator, connecting to the control board. We want to disconnect those. I'm going to remove these leads. Keep in mind they are numbered. They go in order from the left. Number two wire, three wire, and one wire on the far right. And the face should come free from the body of the unit. Now when removing the magnet from the face, there is gonna, it is gonna require a bit of force. Uh, for this, we have a Allen key that's been chopped. And we simply insert it into the shaft firmly press down and it should come right out. Once we've removed that, there's a snap ring holding in the bearings, as you can see here. I'm going to take our snap ring tool and should be wearing eye protection as these tend to go flying. Okay. And depending on how how much corrosion and buildup is in the turbine and in the bearings, uh, they can be difficult to remove. They sometimes require additional force. There's um, in between the bearings. There's going to be the front one is a sealed shielded bearing. So the shielded part, the black rubber, is going to be on the outside, exposed to the weather. The inside is open. In between the bearings, you'll have a spacer bearing. Spacer bearing. And then there's going to be a spring washer to help keep the bearings separated. Then finally, the inside bearing, which is not a sealed, shielded um, standard bearing. And um, once you have removed them, um, it's recommended that you take a bit of emery cloth or fine grit sandpaper to remove the excess corrosion on the inside so that when you do replace the bearings, they seat properly. And putting them back in is going to be the same procedure. Typically there is a tough gel that's provided that goes on the outside of the bearing. Um, typically looks... Typically with the uh, air turbines, we're using TEF gel. So basically you would be applying that around the perimeter of the bearing. It's always best to coat the bearing completely. The bearing should press in with little force. Um, if you need to, you can use a bearing press to reinsert the bearings. You want to make sure you get your spacer bearings back in there and your spring washers. Don't worry if they are seated, uh, they'll be able to adjust once you move, once you go to put in the magnet shaft. So we'll put the other bearing in. Keep in mind when you go to insert the snap ring again, bearings are spring-loaded, 
So when you do compress the snap ring, you're going to want to force it down into the unit, pushing against those springs that are holding the bearings apart. You always want to make sure the snap ring clicks into place. Take our stator magnet and reinsert it. You want to make sure that those rings, the shaft is able to slide in there. Just watch your fingers as it goes in. It's going to want to snap back into place with the force of the magnet. That's how you replace the face bearings on an air unit. Once we have the magnet back in place, we want to reattach our wires coming off the stator. Keep in mind the numbering code, as I mentioned earlier. Going from the number two wire. Then we got wire number three. Finally, wire number one on the far right. So you want to keep in mind that there is an O-ring seal around the stator here. So when we do replace the face, we want to make sure that that O-ring is seated properly. And we can take place the face back on the unit. want to make sure that the o-ring is seated properly then we'll take our bolts in the face 